Let me tell you, I've spotlighted some movies with some crazy titles. But you know you've struck gold when the guy checking you out starts laughing at the movie you bought. There were some movies, terrible movies, movies so awful no one would touch. Then came a Matthew, sad little Matthew. Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad. Today's episode, Black Superman. Yes, I'm aware the audio in this new location is terrible, but kind of nice having a board behind me. Also, the movie we're reviewing today is called Black Superman. There's something so odd about seeing Ebonics in the title of a film, especially when it's such a belligerent ripoff and also kind of offensive. I'm just saying, adding Black to the title already indicated what race he was, the Ebonics was kind of unnecessary. And again, that was probably just a sneaky way around the copyrighted name Superman. Hmm. Black Superman was released in 2007 from writer, director, and star Master P. The Rapper. Yes, that is the level we're on, thanks for noticing. Not only that, it was produced by Boss Man, who's only worked on this and one other movie, as well as a Nicki Minaj video. I kinda hope Boss Man is just the rap scene version of Alan Smithy. It also stars Tony Cox, who this same year also appeared in Epic Movie and Who's Your Caddy. So this was actually a step up in his career. Unfortunately, it's somehow not on his IMDb page. He's on the cover! He's top build! It's not like he did this uncredited, get it together IMDb! And hook my man Yahari Nichols up with a page for 9 minutes. And besides the obvious presence of the uncredited Tony Cox, the box claims to be an H-Hood cinema production. Reassuring. Oh, and it won an H-Hood award! I, I don't know what it won an award for. Sounds like a made-up award to me. Look out for Black Superman, the motion picture, coming summer 2008. Did they just promote their movie on the back of that same movie? You know who's not on this cover? Hmm, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, Black Superman isn't on the cover. I, I mean, he has the suit in a bag. What superhero movie doesn't have the superhero on the cover in full costume? Start the movie. Yet yeah, nice JPEG, yo. The movie starts in this weird comic book intro that looks like it was probably made on some free animation site. We cut to the real world where two bullies are riding down the street. Wow, good thing that trash can was obviously empty. Someone could just easily set it back up. Damn. This world does need a Superman. <sighs> I mean, I'm out. I don't need you anyway, you little wuss. Oh shit, what's this kid gonna do? Oh, he, he egged a car. That's some hardcore gangster shit, yo. Let me explain to y'all how I turned into the black Superman. This crackhead sold me this suit, right? He had a red cape, some tights. I know you can't imagine me in that, but you know what? Before we get to that, I want to show y'all what happened with me and this honey. It's gonna be freaky and funny. Um, ADD much? Yep, yep, yeah. This movie is incredibly unfocused. It's painful. Anyways, apparently his girlfriend wants kinkier sex. Excuse me, where do you find a girlfriend who wants things to get kinkier? I can't even get my girlfriend to date me. That's your problem, you kinky freaky. I mean, us doing it in the garage. Did he just mispronounce garage? Yeah, okay, obviously they're using some ebonics in this movie, but even people who use ebonics can pronounce garage. Yeah, the egg throwing sounds are ridiculous, but you haven't seen this yet. Right, you just threw an egg at my car? Yeah, what you gonna do about it, man? What I'm gonna do about it? Hmm, good point, movie. I should be watching Kung Fu Hustle. 
Then we cut to Master P's dad standing around getting angry because Master P is late with his car. He criticizes Master P and tells him he needs to get a job. Damn! Pops was right. I need to find my purpose, but right now, I feel like I have. I just seen everything that I need to get my hands on. Dude, you have a pretty attractive girlfriend who's demanding kinkier sex. Don't throw that away. At least, not until she busts out the strap on, then you can run like hell. Then we cut to a big black guy who runs around stealing stuff. Wait a minute. Overly critical dad who says the main character needs to get a job. Big guy who goes around stealing stuff. Annoying kids who knock over garbage cans. Tony Cox. And all of it's set against the backdrop of an urban neighborhood. It's just a ripoff of Friday. Yo, <laughs> freak, are we gonna do with that? Like, nah, this is all I have, it's Cherry Red. I have an idea. I'll get in this car, we'll drive down the block, I'll buy you a big van with no seats. Fit in the van and shit, do whatever you want, eat all you want. I have two cousins coming this week from Africa. They have big fat asses. They're gonna drop it like it's hot. You like dropping it like it's hot? Hey, maybe you shouldn't give the line Rama jokes to the guy with the thickest accent. You know, for a professional rapper who owns a record label, I'd expect a movie written and directed by Master P to. Not look like a home movie? You was in college. The hell no. You was in the pen? Yeah. I thought they told me you was in Penn. I thought they were talking about Penn State. No. But you was in the penitentiary. That joke almost worked. If only the timing was better. And it wasn't in the movie Black Superman. Now you know the Bible said thou shalt not kill. But it didn't say nothing about we couldn't fuck nobody up. Thou shalt not commit adultery. I mean, fuck whoever you want, just don't act like the Bible's okay with it. Then Master P's dad calls him. Okay, hell boy. The word for today for you is purpose. I got a purpose. That's why I'm here on my J-O-B. Job. Remember, son, your entire purpose and reason for living is your career. Making money is the only reason for being. Uh, did he really have to tell his son that J-O-B spells job? Then this woman, who's apparently Master P's mom, but is only in this scene and no other scene, calls him about getting robbed. Lady, that happened. You made some jokes about weed and the Bible and shit. It cut to Master P's dad, and now you're calling him? Slow on the uptake, this one. Also, Master B isn't even a superhero. What's he gonna do? It's hard. He didn't touch me. That, that was a good thing. That's the same thing. Then I, did. then I think that was a bad thing because I need some touching. I need some hands laid on. <laughs> Lonely old women love being molested. And the African guy from earlier is reporting the car theft to him. What is this? Is P the police? Is he running a protection racket? Why is everyone coming to him with their problems? Everyone knows you go to Vanilla Ice for these things. If you've got a problem, yo, he'll solve it. P, how can you look like you don't want to be in your own movie? Well, let me get back to the real story and show y'all how this crackhead changed my life. Oh, what, 17 minutes in and you want to get to the real story? No rush, dude. Oh, my dad right, man. I need to do something with my life. I need a change. I need to do something positive. I just gotta figure out what it is. I know I don't wanna go back to jail. I can't go back to jail, for real. If I get out there and get on these streets, I, I just can't do it. You're not even delivering exposition to anyone. This, this is where screenwriters screw up. You, why, why have, you know, like a, a plot and character development and like a, a interesting dialogue when you can just have the main character Say out loud to no one what his emotions are. Then a crossdresser shows up and gives Disaster P the Black Superman outfit. It makes as much sense to you as it does me. I mean, he's gotta be annoying for a while. Cause I felt. I mean, I actually no listen. I'm then like I'm then like forty seconds here. You drinking? This is not Chubinor. 
come home from jail, you ain't had nothing. You smoking that shit or no. what? Nope, he, he keeps putting that cigarette in his mouth and never smoking it. He even lights the lighter. Is this a joke? It's not a good one. They also don't know how to use the zoom function. You'd be surprised if I told you this was the cinematographer's first film. Whoever's house this is, their kid is standing at the doorway waiting for them to finish filming. Also, the film seems to be suggesting that discount discount Chris Tucker used the suit and was Black Superman. Except if he was, he wasn't doing a good job because no one has ever seen Black Superman before. Honestly, this whole scene seems pointless. His girlfriend suggested some sexy roleplay that could easily have been the setup for him buying some secondhand superhero suit and discovering it gives him powers. By the way, his girlfriend doesn't show up again until a post credits scene. Also, Black Superman's kryptonite is weed. Yep, the movie made that joke, not me. I wipe my hands of this whole affair. If I don't fly, I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm telling you straight up, I better fly. Does he literally think the suit can make him fly? I mean, it can, but if some strung out crossdresser told me I could fly, I wouldn't go jumping off buildings just yet. So what's in the bag, man? Something that's gonna change the world, man. You know, my pops always told me, you gotta do something with your life, do something positive. Now I finally got a way that I can do that. Nope, he actually believes the strung out dude has a magic flying suit. Fuck logic. Also, Tony Cox is a priest. There's, um, there's a lot of religious symbolism in this movie. Because the real black Superman. Jesus. Although, are many priests sponsored by Nike? And here's the black Superman suit. Some costume shop muscle man suit with a laminated B taped to it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Master P, net worth $350 billion. They couldn't afford to get an actual suit. And, and I mean, it'd be one thing if it was just like, they hired some B-list rapper to be in their rinky-dink little movie. But Master P wrote and directed this. Where's the budget? Wait, I'm gonna be show the world that I am so bad. I'm ready to make my mark. I can't hear you. Wait for the cars to pass before you talk. Remember the movie Superman from 1978? Yeah, In Living Color has better flying effects than this movie. It's Bernard Smith! That fool owes me $40! No, it's not! It's Black Superman! Superman. Black Superman! Black Superman! You know that BS stands for Bernard Smith, not Black Superman? Um, he only has a B on his outfit. Only BS here is this movie! Ayo! Remember the movie Mini-Me? Yeah. The movie Mini-Me. Not the character from the movie Austin Powers, the non-existent movie called Mini-Me. <laughs> um, is this woman aware she's being filmed? Her audio is so distant and hard to hear, I doubt it. So, as Black Superman, I'd like to see you fly up there and get the pussy cat. Yeah. Oh, no! Wow! Oh, Black Superman! You gotta get up! Oh, oh. My man, you were actually flying like two minutes ago. I think I broke my wings fighting those criminals. F fighting those criminals? When? Did that happen off screen? It's actually kind of hard to write about this movie. Scenes just kinda start, go nowhere, and then suddenly it's the next scene. There is no plot or structure to this movie. If you're a black Superman, then why don't you go to the bank and bring me a million dollars? Me? I'm, I'm neither black nor Superman. One million dollars, then I believe you're the black Superman. That seems like an abuse of powers. If you're the black Superman, do a fly through for me. Fly your ass to Church's Chicken to give you a number four. That's a ten piece. No, a number four at Church's is a four piece. Get the suit, whatever. 
Bring me a million bucks and I believe that because I need some money in my pocket. I, I thought you were a priest. Why are you wearing a rosary? If you the real black Superman, you need to bring me a nigga with a job and some benefits and a car. Sounds possible, but not really a job for Superman. Black Superman. You know what that stands for? Bullshit. No BS would stand for bullshit. Black Superman just stands for Black Superman. And as we've determined, there's no BS on his outfit. You're a real Black Superman. Could you break my daddy out of jail? This movie feels racist. I think I'm gonna save the world. But they got bullets out there, Bernard. I'm the Black Superman. I'm gonna save the world. Man, how you gonna do that, Bernard? Look at me. I like that and all, but they got bullets and stuff, Bernard. Bullets! I'm the Black Superman. Bernard, how are you gonna make a movie? You don't have a script. I don't need a script. I'm Black Superman. Yeah, but Bernard, how can you be Black Superman? You don't have a script. Man, I don't need a script. I'm Black Superman. What does that mean? Then Pastor Me is smoking weed even though last scene he claimed he had given it up. Bernard, you smoking that stuff? I went to rehab, I gave it up. Oh! This weed, you get the munches. I had to clean the neighborhood up. Then I start thinking about my childhood, me as a super baby. I mean, I was so fast and quick and strong. I guess that's why I'm the black Superman. I always had superpowers. Now you know smoking to have you thinking about the past and thinking about your roots. I went to thinking about Bob Maul and all the beautiful Jamaican and Rasta mans out there. And oh god, this is a bad trip. That's how marijuana works, right? Then a white person shows up and talks about dreaming about killing his neighbors. Every night, I dream about killing my neighbors. Some nights I think about burning them alive in their beds. Other nights, I think about chopping them up with machetes. Though if I found out my neighbors had made Black Superman, I might dream of killing them too. Man, you crazier than he is. Are you nuts? I'm here. The Black Superman. You know, not every sentence you say has to start with, I'm Black Superman. Obviously mirrored shot. Found the dog. Oh, thank you, Black Superman. I was looking everywhere for him. I'm so glad that you found it. Where was you? <laughs> this woman is so genuine. Like, she was probably just Master P's actual neighbor, and she saw him filming, and it's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be in your movie. That's great. <laughs> I wish there was more of her. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening, but I feel offended. Like, I, I don't know what race this guy is supposed to be a stereotype of, but it doesn't matter. I'm just offended how bad this movie is. Then the African guy asks Black Superman to rescue his brother from being deported. Is that a common problem in the black community? I, I mean, I, I genuinely don't know, but I have my doubts. My, my man, my dude, my guy, my pal, my friend, I make content with a higher production value than this. You know why you man? Cause you always wanted to fuck with me since high school. You knew I was too young for you. That's oh, what the fuck shit. You always wanted I me. I wanted you. Yes, you did. Are you nuts? I was too young for I you. I like women. You had a Cadillac. Oh, it was shit. pink. You rode around the high school. Who the fuck is you? You shut up, Nora. Pink. You knew you were wrong. Tell nobody about my pink Cadillac. Now fuck that. I want you to love me. How the fuck we gonna be the same size and big? This movie is bad. Apparently Black Superman also has x-ray vision, because when you don't have a script you can just make up powers whenever, and he tells his new African friend the hot lady from earlier is wearing white panties. What color panties are you wearing? <laughs> well, I am a reporter and that would usually offend me, but since you are Black Superman, I guess I can make an exception. Did an 8th grader write this? The answer is no, no one wrote this. Also, I hate to be that guy, but isn't white the most common color of underwear? 
I'm just saying, if I had to randomly guess the color of someone's underwear, white is a solid bet. You gonna actually light that cigarette this time, or no? Okay. Even superheroes gotta take a break. You haven't done anything! You don't get a break! Then he smokes weed. Hey kids, let's play a fun game called Find the Plot! Is it here? None of that. No, 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 no. Well, you go on keep that. That come from the earth. And go on turn the music up and light me up blunt. Nope. Is it here? You got a lot of baby oil, don't you? You need some baby oil. Let me tell you something. Stay away from the black Superman. Oh, is this what this is about? That's what it's about. Nope. Is it here? Where could it be? Oh, I know! It must be in another fucking movie! Ratatouille has more of a plot than this. You got a headache, man. Yeah, you I need something for your head? You been fighting crime homes? Yeah, that's what I've been Alright, dog, I got something for you. Hey, give him the... Should I give him the stump? Yeah, because, hey. you know, I got the mighty Advil, the gangster. I got you, dog. Um, I thought you were taking drug dealers to jail. You know, cleaning up the streets? I gave that fool Viagra an ecstasy, huh? Why? That sounds awful! So he starts to trip, and it's over in like 10 seconds. Then comes Black Superman's climactic battle with the big- Okay, that was easy. Another Hollywood Cinema Production. Oh, H-Hood Productions is short for Hollywood Productions. That's- that's a little clever. But better than H-Hood Productions, at least. And that's... Black Superman. The whole movie. I've seen some comedies get accused of being a bunch of sketches strung together, but they typically have a very loose plot to tie them into. And, you know, usually the sketches have a point. This film seems like some friends got high, wrote down a bunch of ideas for a Black Superman movie, then started filming without an actual script. And the production value for a film written and directed by someone with money is just garbage. I don't like to make fun of a movie just for having no budget, but this movie easily could have had a budget. That said, it is kind of fun to put on and laugh at with a bunch of friends. It's got no real value outside of that, but it's short and it's dumb. But if you really want to see a black superhero movie, go watch Black Panther. It's not out at the time of me recording this, but it's gotta be better than this shit. Or hell, go back and watch the first two Blade movies. Those were great. Fuck it, even Steel is better than this movie. Vagina or a dick or a pussy? What are you, a motor soccer? What are you? Get out of here! I was gonna have a bad the bully sketch, but somebody wouldn't do blackface. <laughs>